Yeah. So we start. Yeah, we start. Welcome everybody. Thank you for coming to our talk that it's about Java 12, the new features in action. So today is a very special day. Yes, today is a great day because today is a release date of Java 12. So we'll come out today just in honor of Vox at Zurich. Exactly. So it's a perfect match. So let's very go about day. the new features. Now let's talk about ourselves first. <laughs> Very selfish. <laughs> yes, um, my name is uh, Jonathan Kaczmierczak. I work as senior consultant at Trivadis. I'm creator, creator of Class Visualizer. I'm also creator of Maths Practice for Children. Who has children? Please raise your hand. Wow, so you can really benefit from that project. <laughs> um, I'm also a contributor to JDK projects like Graal and uh, JDK Mission Control. About Graal you can hear a lot today and some other info as well. So I'm Marco, I'm a full stack uh, developer, Java and Angular, uh, very important. And I'm organizing meetup of Java developer here in Zurich, who is here from Zurich. So please, you are welcome. You can uh, uh, share and have fun with us. So oh, but uh, where is your uh, picture, Marco? Well, you had two times the picture. I. Uh, do clean code, so don't repeat yourself. If one is enough and was in the first slide. Okay. So, so this slide show you uh, something very important. It seems it's inappropriate to have beers on the slides, so we have a coffee for the Q&A. We won't have a lot of time. We have only a session of 20 minutes, so we will answer all your questions after the session with a beer or a coffee. Yeah, but please don't put any duke to your coffee. It's not healthy. Who is currently using Java 11? Please raise your hand. Not, not, okay, not no, a lot. Oh, we, no, we see a good number of hands. That's, that's a good and number. And uh, my favorite, Java 8. Yeah. Wow, <laughs> majorly. Majorly. And there is somebody who is still using a prehistorical version of Java before 8. Oh my god. Well, One. Two. <laughs> two? <laughs> okay. For you, there is a session this afternoon about Java 8. You can ask about the migration. <laughs> And we don't worry, we had the same question yeah. uh, on Twitter, 460 answer. Most of the developers, like me, is still are still using uh, Java 8. Yeah, so you have to upgrade. <laughs> Today you have a chance <laughs> to upgrade my to clients. <laughs> <laughs> so here's the list of what is officially announced in the new version of Java. Uh, we will quickly talk about all these uh, features or missing features. Please. And uh, important for the live demo are the hidden features. These are not uh, uh, announced. We found in the code source, we found uh, interesting things, some bugs too. Uh, all the details you will have in the slide, uh, we won't cover everything in this, uh, in this live uh, session. Uh, yeah, this is a disclaimer. Yeah, we skip this kind. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah, let's Safe start. Harbor. <laughs> let's start with the facts. J Shell usability. First of all, who is using J Shell? Maybe please raise your hand. <laughs> Just the we Oh, we have at least two, three hands. That's great. Um, <laughs> Who is not using J Shell? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, that would be everybody else. Um, yeah, so J Shell stands for Java Shell. It's introduced in uh, Java 9. And in Java 12, they are really great improvements. Uh, you, if you start it, for example, for first time, then you can always start with help, help command. You have some additional topics here. You can also get some nice intro with auto completion even uh, keys. I would say in a few minutes you can really be a J shell profi. And in my case, since Java 12. The tool is so great that it can replace all my IDEs. My ID has color, so I won't replace. No, I'm a monochromatic person. <laughs> so here are slides. Oh, uh, rostering literals was one of the big announcements of the Java 12 edition. But, but it dropped. It's dropped, yeah. <laughs> Unfortunately, well, I use every day in uh, TypeScript. That's it's very you nice. You like this code snippet, probably. Yeah, it's like <laughs> Java. <so. laughs> yeah, it's supposed to be like Java, but it's so not we anymore. So we will have to wait, maybe version 13 or a future ver uh, version. Uh, almost every other language has already implemented Yeah, this. many of those mentioned yeah. here. In Java, I'm we, we do the it's like Switzerland. We, we wait and we do th things safe. Good, but also the feature was dropped. There is still some leftover. Forget. For <laughs> uh, let's type my favorite number. And uh, first of all, is there anybody who cannot read the text? Okay, everybody can read. Great. Transform. 
transform, wow. What is transform? Let's try to transform the string. We can transform it to, to <laughs> big <laughs> integer, yes. And for example, get lowest set bit, and we see that is bit number 16. So yeah, some leftover. So it's useless, we have already <laughs> Yeah, we could we could always convert it since yeah <laughs> since ages, but yes, something something was introduced, something introduced, something taken, some left over. Uh, so interesting, maybe there was a big debate about this uh, feature in the core dev of uh, the JDK. Not everybody was happy about this feature, about the name. You can read in the slide this funny yeah, we story. We have more left over. Uh, yeah, there's another uh, something forgetting the code is uh, indent, not really useful. Uh, if yes. you're not working in the front end. Yeah, but uh, there is now another feature which was not dropped, uh, which is switch expressions. I will take some <coughs> code snippet. Uh, we have a method now written, developer rating, but based on what? Based on number of children. As um, many they have. <laughs> <laughs> uh, what is new in this case is the syntax, it's extension of the switch syntax that now we can use it as an expression which gives us a value. And here we have some of the ratings based on number of children. Yes, So in case uh, you have zero children, you have no children, then... You are an open source contributor. Of course. Potentially. You yeah. have a lot of free time. <laughs> of course. <laughs> Uh, but in uh, our case, so one and two. Yes, this is uh, something new. Yeah, so we exactly we have two values here. So we are junior developers, they are senior developers as well, and then we have here default case a block. If somebody would like to cheat us and would say that I have minus one child, then we have of course to exclude those people. Now, who has four or more children? Please raise your hand. Wow. wow! Wow! This is a good reason to say you are not at all. <laughs> <laughs> this is relaxed. You are you are a manager. We have one manager here. Well, so if <laughs> I if I understand well, be beside the multiple case, uh, I don't need any more the break at the end of uh, this expression. So oh. I I won't break any more my code. Yes, you can still you can still break your code if you want because there is still. But break. at the end of the case, there is no more. No, no. Okay, so okay. single case. So I can implement from directly from tomorrow. Yes, uh, it would be uh, very nice, but unfortunately, there is some small thing. Enable preview. This is what you have to switch on in order to compile your code and in order to run your code using switch So expressions. maybe it's better to wait version 13 when it will be a definitive feature. <laughs> yeah, we'll see. So the same example. So Here's some additional more info. Details. This, those slides are published anyway, so at the end you will see the, the link. But we have another nice thing, compact number format. Not announced, it's a surprise. Yes, not announced, but it's, uh, it's not preview, it's final. Uh, Probably we all know number format since Java 1.1, but this one is new now, compact number format. And what is compact number format? Let's try to, to use it. First of all, I have to import everything from Java text. And now I can try to get my <coughs> compact number format. And this method has two signatures. The one interesting for us is the one with locale because we are in German speaking. Swiss German. Right? Mm, Swiss German, yeah, okay. okay. Ah. Uh, I will use the more generic version. M more tested, maybe. Yeah, hopefully. <laughs> and then we have two styles, long and short, almost. With my ID, it's easier. No, yes, <laughs> here we have auto-completion, it's good, yes, long and short. So let's use the one with long. And let's try to format now some, some number. Which number should we try? Try one million. One million. Yeah, yeah that's, that's a good number, actually. We can, uh, we can wow. write one million. Okay. And here we are. Try another seven million. I want to see how you write this. Thing. Okay. Okay. Seventeen million. Two millions. Last one and after. It. Okay. Oh. Oh. S oh. Some German sp uh, speaker here. I, I, is, is that <laughs> correct? <laughs> 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 no. Okay. We oh. are. Of course, it's not right. 
Mm. <laughs> okay, <laughs> but, but go, go, go. <laughs> I, I, I'm afraid that is not the first and not the last thing which, well, is, which is incorrect uh, here. Well, on this slide we see, we, we check all the local languages <laughs> and uh, we found error in every language. For Italian speaker is even worse. And somebody comes from Graubünden Canton, the beautiful canton of reasons. Mountains. Nobody. Nobody. Nobody, because they don't use <laughs> any more Java because they forget about, uh, about the implementation. <laughs> Yeah. So don't use it. Is this is productive, but please yeah. don't use it. <laughs> <laughs> we, we we don't recommend this feature. Yeah, we have some other, other feature on smaller the smaller features. Yes, for your fun. You can fun facts. Yes. Oh, oh. JVM constants is API official official. Yes, uh, that's another official one. Um, it's internal API, but if you look carefully at your favorite string class. In Java 12, you can find out that it has two new super interfaces. OK, constable, which brings one method, constant desk, which brings another method. If you look even more carefully, then you can notice that constable is not implemented only by string, but also by numbers, by enum. OK, so what is the impact of that? Hmm. OK, now I'm typing my my string, and then I look for one of the methods which I like to use, and then I see a new one. Whoa, resolve desk. Let's try it, and it gives me string back. Okay, good. Well. <laughs> <laughs> the <laughs> question <laughs> is, <laughs> feel free to use it. The question is, how much useful is it, or the the other one? Hmm? Okay. And yes. Unfortunately, you will see this in your ID. Even my smart ID should yeah. is. Uh, so new features. you will have some new methods, but um, don't use it. Yeah, they will not bring any new features to you, unfortunately. Yeah, we have some views. Yeah, here. more details, yeah, details, details blah, blah. Oh, Chenandoa. Uh, now we go in the subject of the garbage collector. Chenandoa is the mega superstar of the garbage collector. Ultra low pose, uh, async, uh, doesn't require full cycles. And it's wonderful if you are uh, deploying in Docker or uh, to the cloud. And uh, unfortunately, it's experimental in Java 12. So doesn't work with the Oracle uh, OpenJDK. Yes, because it, 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 w it is even not compiled there. But, but in case you are using Red Hat, Red Hat Linux, and then you have OpenJDK built by Red Hat, uh, then this feature is productive. It's productive and you can use it even in Java 8. So majority of you can even start since today afternoon or tomorrow morning, assuming you have this system. If you use also other builds of OpenJDK 12, other than Oracle one, then you will also find this feature access experimental. So, and uh, if you are like Many developer, when we are talking about garbage collector, you understand only garbage. Uh, we found a I understand collector. <laughs> <laughs> we found a wonderful presentation from Jelastic about uh, the different type of garbage collector and uh, suggestion about how to use and configure. So we uh, recommend this presentation from Jelastic. It's really in understandable languages, language, so yeah, highly recommended. And we stay uh, in the garbage collector. Uh, the G1 is the default garbage collector. There are some improvements. So uh, in two words, when your application is not uh, under uh, work, as the garbage collector starts to do a deep thin up of the, of the memory. So it's very good for your instance, typically in the cloud. Uh, it will reduce the memory usage, so sa it will save the money of your company. Yeah, or and also yes, also if you are on premise actually, and the application is not working in the night, so. But if you are on Shenandoah, you yes, already have the feature. Exactly, <laughs> yes, exactly. Shenandoah has this feature already. True. Um, abortable mixed collection for G1. So next improvement in G1, uh, there is a nice parameter max uh, setting up the max uh, collection pause, which is by default 200 milliseconds, uh, but. But uh, this 200 milliseconds is often not respected by G1 because it has to do a full collection from the beginning to the end. And yes, um, that was the issue. And now it's addressed that the full collection can be aborted and the 
control can be given back to your application. So the throughput should But if you benefit. use Shenandoah, you don't need this. Again, yeah, exactly. Oh, default class uh, data sharing archive. Uh, still, we are in the optimization. Uh, is we found that it's not very useful in uh, modern architecture, so we won't spend the time here. You have more details. Yes, by modern architecture, you mean the yeah, cloud, cloud, right? Yeah, cloud and Docker, yeah. If exactly. you have an uh, old server with uh, six instances and uh, 300 uh, gig of uh, uh, GVM, it's can it can be useful. So we switch to the next. Internal changes, these are not really relevant for us as developer, it's more for, uh, uh, or, or if you have a, a JDK committer, it's yes. going to be very important. For, for, for all of you who are JDK developers, actually, it's, it's relevant. But <laughs> not for us. <laughs> and, uh, yeah. Yes, JDK mission control. Yes, that's interesting thing, because uh, JDK mission control version 7 is a complement of JDK 11, and it was promised and um, the release candidate date already passed. Uh, but what happens if you go to the download page? You will find nothing, even no early access builds. They are critical issues, opened, and the we don't know really what is going on with the uh, project. I know that the product manager is in Zurich. I don't see him here, but hopefully he makes a note <laughs> about this Thanks. issue. So, uh, we show you some feature uh, of the version 12. There is a release train, so for the people who like to have the Edge version, it can be very interesting. There are a lot of uh, bugs that are fixed. There are, uh, for us, important improvement in the garbage collector. So J-Shell is very much improved. For uh, <laughs> Jonathan, is J-Shell. So uh, and I think he li loves this new version. I will stay in oh yes, with, yes, the, yes, with the version 11. Oh yes, I, I, now I can do everything in JSON. So or I'm I would very like happy. to migrate to the version 11 at least. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. So, and uh, don't forget, there are uh, a lot of OpenJDK. There is not only the, the, w the Oracle one. You can choose according to uh, to your preferences. You can even you build your own. And if you build, you can uh, call Jonathan for the support and oh the yeah, I can bug fix. I can do a consulting yeah. and, <laughs> and support. <laughs> and uh, we are at the end, almost. Uh, there are some links on the slides. Yeah. And, uh, well, you can uh, find more information about our talk, more details, more fun facts. And uh, we are here for you to answer Question, uh, Jonathan, yeah. you want to Yeah, tell maybe those? if you are curious what, what is this thing, uh, so somebody, somebody knows. knows. Somebody okay. knows, please. Bottom left. What's ah, what's one person. The where? manager. The man he, he is the where? manager oh, who has four children. So yeah. <laughs> he knows. <laughs> so what's this? Class uh, five starts with that. Yeah, exactly. The, the, yeah. the <laughs> Big applause. <laughs> Exactly. That's exactly so. So when you will have an error in the Java class format, remember is Java 12 is the version 56 of Java. I think he is reading JVM specification for the children to, to <laughs> put them into sleep. <laughs> so yeah. thank you very much. Uh, we are at the end. Thank you. Ah. Oh, so ma ma one question from the, the new switch thing, the new pattern matching. I, uh, my understanding was is, is that an experimental feature? So uh, is it in preview mode? Yes. So we have still one minute. Okay, maybe we, we repeat question from Marco first of all. That the question oh yeah, sorry, is Mario I, uh, from Mario. Is it um, experimental or or preview? What sort of feature the is that? The switch, uh, which kind of feature is? And is a, is a preview feature, so it can be changed or even. Uh, Eliminate in the next version of Java. So uh, it's just to, to have feedback. So if somebody saw this uh, feature and does feedback, the Open JDK developer are happy to to get uh, to get uh, a feedback. Just don't use in production. Uh, okay. Yeah. Mm. Yeah. Ne next questions at the coffee. <laughs> Thank, Thank you very much. much. <laughs>